Hi everyone. Hi everyone. We are on the Boundary Trail in Maui and it's a beautiful trail that we've not been able to hike for the last few years since we've been here because it's been closed. So the trail is back open and we're totally excited to bring you along on this hike with us. Yeah, it's a lot cooler up here than it is down by the beach. That, that's the long sleeves. It's foggy, a beautiful day. Kind of the funny story about this trail with us is last time we hiked it, I had a GoPro, had a GoPro stick like I'm using now. And as we uh, left, I leaned it against the car and you know where the story's going. <laughs> I left it behind. We lost all of our footage. It was such a bummer. Yeah, so here we are. We're on the redemption hike and I hope you enjoy it. We have heard lots of reports of wild pigs on this trail. So we're going to talk loud, wave our arms, hope we don't see any, but if we do, we'll be prepared. They are called feral pigs from what I understand. Because we've heard they can be a little bit aggressive. The last time we were here, we heard reports of falling trees. So we were a little bit nervous. Every time we heard a snap, we'd make sure we got out of the way. It looks like they've cleared some of the overgrowth. So hopefully that won't be a problem on this hike either. The thing I love about this trail is there's so many different types of vegetation. And a lot of new growth you can tell because these are all bright green. There's tons of different kinds of moss and lichen all over the trees. It's really interesting. All throughout these humongous trees, there's some type of a tropical fruit vine just growing its way up. Not too sure what kind of fruit this is, but definitely something I'm gonna look up when we get back. If you know, let me know. Well, we seem to have lost the trail here a little bit in this ravine, dry creek. What do you got up there, Kim? Okay. Can you confirm? Nice job. how all the dirt here is dug up and it's turned that is the sign of the feral pigs being here getting into the dirt looking for food we are in the thick of the eucalyptus forest and i'm got to tell you the smell is incredible piggy 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 woo, 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 woo. i thought i heard a snarl back there so we wanted to make some noise so hopefully a we scare them off before they see us and we want to see them before they see us. Yeah. So the that's idea. that's why we're making all the noises and the funny pig noises and stuff. <laughs> <sighs> what fun. We're gonna be quiet for a minute and just let you listen to all the birds. Ah. You might have seen some craft stores. Yes. It's... Eucalyptus, here it grows in the wild, all over the place. Smells good, right? Smells amazing. We are now emerging from the mythical forest. It's a little bit spooky in there. I thought we heard some crackling that could have been pigs. So we just talked real loud, waved our arms but we're safe. So far we've come 2.6 miles. So we're doing really well, not too winded yet. And we are headed here on the boundary trail towards this ranger cabin, another 1.4 miles. Now, the last time we were here three years ago, there were incredible wild hydrangeas, like purple hydrangeas all around that ranger cabin. Different time of year this year. So I'm excited to see if those hydrangeas will still be there. I may be mistaken, but I believe this to be an old bunkhouse. I don't think I want to go in there. All right, we'll send in the camera. Send in the GoPro.
So if you thought the little stable bunkhouse back there was creepy, wait till we get to the ranger's cabin. I won't go inside. I'll send the camera in again. It was just way too creepy, but really just beautiful in its surroundings. And I think you'll enjoy it as well. Hang with us, we're almost there. Look at all this moss on the ground. It's all over the place, just growing out of the ground because it's so wet. It really feels like a rainforest in here. Yeah, we're getting uh, raindrops on us now. We do have parkas with us, but uh, we'll see if it gets a little bit heavier before we go that route. Yeah. So glad you all are coming along with us. So if you are a Chronicles of Narnia fan, Lord of the Rings, this hike is for you. I mean, bring your cosplay. You would have a blast shooting out here. Let's wear good shoes. Ooh, we're into some more greenery here. Loving the ferns. Hopefully it helps someone else. This is like one big compost pile out here. Yeah. Thick, thick leaves. Oh, look at that beautiful soil underneath. We're just trying to mimic nature in our garden here, but man, nature does it best, right? Coming through the fern forest now. Look at the green, it's absolutely stunning. Hopefully the ranger cabin is just ahead. Okay, pretty sure the ranger cabin is just around the corner. This is a welcome site. These are wild hydrangeas. Now obviously, kind of on their way out, but we still got a few blooms right over there that are purple and white. Here we are entering the final stretch to the ranger cabin. I remember this, Kim. Just thick with yeah. wild hydrangea bushes. I mean, you guys, this is crazy. Just look how massive these are. <gasps> Here it is, Jerry. Yep. The cabin. Covered. Yes, we made it. Oh, wow. Hello. Anybody home? You gonna go in? Covered in cobwebs. Hello in the cabin. What is lurking inside? Look at that door over there. Oh man. Braver than I am. Look, you can see the bunk bed in there still. I am not going in there. At this point, Jerry, we've got a choice. We either go back the same way we just came or we continue the loop for a total of 11.1 miles. Well, the way behind us will be straight uphill for about four miles. It looks very, very strenuous. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we take our chances with the loop. Yep. The last two miles is on a fire road. So I think that's a little bit easier maybe. With the old abandoned ranger house behind us, 
we're moving on forward, but I am curious, who of you would go along with us on this hike? And who of you would go into the cabin? Well, it's been three years since we've got to do this hike. And it's really good to be on this trail again. It's just beautiful. You'd never think that you are in Maui. It is called a reserve. So this is protected land. So that's really cool. So more, more people can enjoy it. And we're into some uphill here. You can tell by my heavy breathing. So we just came off the trail. We're tired. We stopped and took a little break here behind us at the ranger station. And now we're headed to the fire road. We made it. The fire road ended up being about five miles. And of course it started raining. So we're a little bit wet, but we did it. We're figuring it's 11 miles altogether, <laughs> but it was beautiful and fun and well yeah. worth it. We're up there in elevation too. <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoy this little trek along with us. Yeah. We're going to head back to the car and hightail it down towards town where it's warmer. Thanks, Thanks for watching. So See you back in the garden. Garden. <laughs> Bye.